So this video is going to be a, a quick one about how to use the import geometry command. And so let's let's dive right in. So let's click this import geometry. And the one thing that you'll need, um, really the only thing that you'll need, is the GPK for whichever alignments you want to bring into um, an open roads file. So you just select your GPK file and then it'll, it'll load and then here's the location of the GPK and then we can click on alignment and here are the feature definitions for the geometry that's stored so in this case I'm gonna go to geometry centerline and I'm gonna bring in the um, 2B horizontal alignment, which that's what this is, RM62 2B. And this is the horizontal alignment. And then um, if we click the plus, then we can see on the profile, we can click the plus, and we see all these profiles for um, that are stored in the GPK. So that's one thing to, um, to know when you are. Um, importing the geometry is if we were to just click the horizontal alignment which is arm 62 2b we would select all these profiles and all these profiles would um, be inside of this horizontal alignment when we import it so the main thing you need to know is that we're going to uncheck this uncheck the profile then we'll come select our 2B which I think it is it's gonna be this one and then we'll make sure it's create civil rules and then we're gonna import and now we have our 2B um, 2B alignment with, with the stationing then if we turn in our 2D turn on our 2D um, alignment file then we can see that it lines up with exactly our uh, geometry so I think that's going to be it for this video um, I just wanted this to be, be a quick one because this is something that you'll need to do um, if you're starting a new project from scratch um, but it's something that that you'll need to know and know what um, know what these um, different settings mean when we're importing. And that's it for today's video.